Yo, 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 what's going on? Tim Bad Larry again. I'm back with another video. I'm back with my little hiatus. I'm bringing back the second installment of my UE, Tyro, and Six favorite custom preset patches. These preset patches are from having sat down an entire day and just kind of going through all the presets within that VST and saving the ones that I think were fire, like tweaking them and stuff like that. So to make this video less overwhelming, I'm just going to share with you like 10 of them in this video. And then I'm going to make other installment videos where I'm going to be adding a few more, just depending on how you guys like them and all that stuff. I I've included some timestamps within this video so you can skip around to whatever part you want to see. I just want to make sure that I give you a little uh, beforehand of kind of what's what I'm going to include within this video. But there are timestamps to different sounds that you can skip and come back to or when you want to rewatch this video. So other than that, I just want to let you know that I'm using a reverb chorus, sometimes delay, and an arpeggiator and a chord trigger that I'll be turning on and off just to kind of sweeten the sound of these presets and stuff so you can kind of get to hear what they sound like dry and wet. So I'm using a Tau Chorus LX, which is a Juno type chorus. I think it's free as well, so I'll include that in the, in the description box. The reverb that I'm using is a Valorado reverb, but you can use whatever reverb you want. Obviously, at the ARP, I'm gonna use, again, whatever DAW you have, you know, just use that ARP in there. And uh, the chord trigger, I don't know, I can't help you that, but this video is not about the chord trigger. That's just the, my workflow, so that's kind of what I'm gonna be using. Um, to be playing around with these sounds. I'll be turning it on and off so I can just jam kind of randomly. I haven't prepared anything outside of um, some loops within different genres that I like to produce that include like house, UK garage, drum and bass, future beats, uh, everything in between, some ambient stuff. So I'm just gonna be jamming around. I haven't planned anything. I'm not a great piano player. I can get the stuff that I like to you know, produce and all that stuff, but this is not meant for that. I'm just gonna show you what I think are the best sounds for these kind of genres. So without further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if it's easier for you to just screenshot some of these preset patches as I'm going through instead of like downloading and installing them, please do so. If you also want me to make another video showing you how to like install these preset patches and stuff like that, just let me know. I can do that. I might just do it anyway, but we'll see how you guys are responding to this video. So let's get it. All right. So this one's called Amp Arctic Power. I'm just going to go from uh, the beginning of the extra patches that I downloaded from the UE Tyrell um, website. So from here now, I won't be doing any much talking. I'll just be putting text so you can see what's going on. So some of these sounds will have a chorus on them. I've saved them with a chorus or they just come with a chorus. So either way, I'll play it through. I have presets on my Ableton. I probably won't be showing that, but I just have little loops of different genres. So like from drum and bass um, to like house to, you know, disco, whatever. So I'm just going to get that going. Let's get it started.